Hey, what's up guys? This is James Hurst. And in today's video, I'm going to walk through an experiment of how to share just one workflow out of an account that already has a bunch of different workflows. Okay. So this is my idea. Basically, it's going to be a two-step snapshot process. So here I'm in this jameshurst.com uh, sub account. I'm on the automations tab and I want to get this guy here for out for sharing jameshurst.com appointment confirmation and reminder. So step one actually is I'm going to go ahead and make a new account of all things. I'm going to go make a new place where I can take a snapshot and put stuff to. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay. Let's go make a new account. So switch to agency view accounts. In fact, I already made a new one. I just called it James appointment reminder workflow. So basically I would just go here and blank snapshot and go here, add account manually, and make myself a new account. So what we have here now is this uh, blank account, and it's just a blending spot for this workflow. There's really not much here at all, okay? Nothing there. So now I wanna go take a live snapshot of, of um, my, the, one I, the one that has the thing I want in it, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and create a new snapshot and I will call this uh, today's latest snapshot. Okay. And I'm going to pick jameshurst.com. And boom. Now I'm saving off everything, all the automations, all the funnels. Really cool. What I'm going to do now is load into that sub account. Uh, so there it is right there, today's latest snapshot. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to um, come into here. James Appointment Reminder Workflow, View Details. Now I'm inside of here, and I'm going to load a snapshot, okay? So now I'm gonna pick that one. So today's latest snapshot, proceed. And I don't want any of this stuff. I'm gonna skip everything except for workflows, just the one that I want. So I'm going to skip everything but that one. So I'm selecting this one, proceed. So now I should have in this, um, in this thing here, so I get a notification saying, yeah, oh, no. Okay, so now if I come in and switch over to this guy, James Appointment Reminder Workflow, the only thing in here that I'd want to share, give away, sell, etc., right? Is this. Now I all the only only thing I have in here is just that. So I've basically isolated that one workflow. There's there's nothing. There's no sites. There's nothing. Just that one little guy. So now what I can do is go back to the agency view. Okay? And I'm going to go to snapshots. I'm going to take a new snapshot of the other account. So now we're going to call this uh, uh, workflow, workflow only. Okay. Appointment reminders. And I'm going to take a snapshot of that other account that had nothing else in it, but just that. So hit save. So now I have that snapshot, right? Workflow only appointment reminders. If I want to share it, I come here, get the share. Uh, get the share link, let's say. So I get the link. There it is. Okay. Now I have something that I could share with another account. So let's just see what that looks like. Right. How much of that stuff in that workflow? Did the MP4 come over in the ringless voicemail? Did all the text come over? Is it just the framework of the automation? Let's take a look. So now I'm, I'm sitting here in another account. And if I go share that, with somebody. Okay, workflow only appointment reminders. Great. You've been invited to use it by this guy here. Great. Let's log in. Let's get logged in here. I'm surprised that it's not picking up the fact that I already am logged in. That doesn't work. Oh, maybe it was just me. Now, and what's it going to do? Is it going to give me an up? Do I want to import this snapshot to this account? 
Yes, I do. And there we are, imported snapshots. So from here, I could then go, so where was the one that I just did? Workflow only appointment reminders. So I guess I probably have to do it at the agency level. So now if I go to here, go to DBX web and come into here. And now I want to load a snapshot into here. No matching options. Okay, workflow, only appointment reminders, imported. It's going to be it's going to be one and the same, but yeah. And proceed. And review settings is always coming in, I've noticed. It's a bug. Anyways, we'll skip that. And Proceed. Grab a copy of that. And there we go. Proceed. Head on over to the account. And go to automations. And there it is. Just came in right now today. So that worked. Um, basically, the big picture overview is uh, you have everything, take a snapshot of it, load it up in a new account, uh, do a, a filtered import on just the one thing you want, and then just use that snapshot. Hope that helps. Thanks. Okay, one last thing I wanted to add was that uh, I was kind of curious, like, well, hey, did it bring in my phone number in here? Did it bring in, uh, you know, it, does it bring in the, the words, right? So, yes, it brings in all that. Okay, ringless voicemail, did it bring in the MP4? It seemed to bring over the MP3, I guess the MP3 file. Um, and so basically if you needed to sanitize this before selling it or sharing it, you know, if it's sending a certain internal, you know, internal phone number or things like that, if you wanted to sanitize it before taking a snapshot of it, that would be probably a best practice. So hopefully that all helps and I'll see you in the next video.